testing. Hello everyone. Well, I think that we are live. Here we go. Now it's sure that we're live. So perfect. I'm going to see if I can see the comment there. I, this is out of the blue. Um, this week I share, um, hmm, thought I had it here. Well, I shared the, it was, um, I'm going to stop and restart it. Don't forget we like, I shared the thoughtful expression, the hummingbird in a stained glass. Now I have it here. I just show it to uh, my husband. That's what happened when you work on many. Oh, here it is. I knew I had it. Here we go. So I share um, the hummingbird and it's a stained glass. Hello, Michelle. Can you hear me good? I see people there. Perfect, perfect. So I would assume that it go good. So this is See, you can see through the, ah, oh, that's so good. Look at that. Okay, it's upside down when I open it up, but see how awesome it is. Well, I decide to uh, do it, see how fun it is, with the dogwood, the detailed dogwood. That stamp set, it's free with celebration. Um, I decide for the month of January, I was doing a technique for my create on the fly. Well, last week I did, um, with the dogwood, I did, it's the vellum um, flower. It's beautiful, the thickness. That one you have to see it in real to see the, the true value. And then Thursday coming up for Create on the Fly, I will share the silk technique. So I'm not going to use the dogwood. So in other words, it's a stem set that if you invest, to get it free because you know that the dogwood you cannot purchase it it's free with a qualified order and that is during celebration 2024 so if you watch down this the road today it's january what 19 20 something like that it is the 20th today of january 2024 the promotion of celebration in february 29 on while supplies last so whichever come first so let me flip you down and we're going to get started. I'm going to share with you what, um, what else that, you know, I did with that. Well, I got more. I just brought the technique one. So here you can see this one here. Like I said, it is really one that you want to do it in real life. And that was a fun uh, pop-up. So and that's not the one that I did live. The one I did live, I send it, somebody won it. So the card that I do during Create on the Fly, somebody uh, can win it. The, I announce it the next week. Uh, this one I did it after because I wanted the sample for myself. Thanks for sharing. And uh, here is some I did for um, Sympathy Card also. It's a beautiful set. I think it's a beautiful set. Next week, I'm going to do the full skill, silk. You see, it looked like fabric and silk, right? So next week, I'm going to share that. This one here, I had a little, um, forget the step. So I decided to put it together so I can share how important it is, those little steps when you commit technique. So this year is going to be next week, okay? Oh, well, the week coming up here, Thursday on my YouTube channel, just go up uh, at frenchystamps.com and then you get all my information there. So for the stained glass, we're going to start with, this is, hmm, this is what? About four by four. This is, it's so handy. Four by four. It's the window sheet. Uh, you can cut that with dies. Like if you go and watch the one I did with Alming Bird, we cut it with dies. You can cut it with your paper cutter. I shared that a punch. I do not recommend it. So we're going to go ahead and stamp our image with Versamark. And so let's stamp this. There we go. I was looking for 
Okay, Versamark. And when you stamp on the window sheet, you want to be uh, like um, a steady hand, I would say. And the reason behind that, it's because it wants to slide. So I'm going to go sideways just a little bit because I know what I'm going with. So stamp, make sure you get a good impression. Put your finger on the window sheet. It's art. Oh, you can see. Put your finger on the window sheet, and then you're going to lift straight up. Voila. Now, we're going to, and I didn't use my embossing buddy this time because last time I used it, I had more on my, I think that maybe my hand was uh, humid. We'll see. So now you're going to go ahead and you're going to, Put your black embossing powder. You can do it in other color, absolutely. Yes, you can. So now this one will not get cut off. So I'm gonna try to pull out, let me bring a brush here, and I'm gonna remove all the little um, embossing powder that shouldn't be where it shouldn't be, okay? And like I said, I did it, the hummingbird, when I did it with the live, I used my embossing buddy and on the window and sheet, plus it got static, quite a bit of static, okay? So that make a difference also. Here we go. So we're going to... It's even some in the back. That's funny. Get very static then. One second. Let me grab. Okay. I got my inky rag here. Are you happy? My inky rag, it's colorful now. So then it's not so, looks so. Okay. Let me put that here. Yeah, I think it was the static from the back because see, I wiped the back and um, come on in, Brennan. I wiped the back and it's pretty much gone. So now we're going to bring the embossing tool, the heat tool, and we're going to emboss that. Hey, Connie. So when you start seeing it go like glossy, you want to move it. If you keep it too long, you're going to melt the window sheet. You don't want to melt, melt the window sheet. You just want to um, eat and boss it. I think I get it all. Many people that uh, saw... Um, this this week whatever thursday and they were shocked that we can emboss on the the window sheet and on the other hand i was shocked that people didn't see that because this is not a whole technique it's one of them that i think i did in 2009 so it's an old technique okay so it's just to say sometime that you know we miss something or we're new at stamping or what's old become new and i think the stained glass that I've been sharing become bad new, so it's kind of nice. Somebody is the frigid. Right now, us, we're going to be in the 40s today. It is beautiful. Now, people ask the question, can you use watercolor, regular uh, writing marker, the uh, stamping write marker? The answer is no, because it will not stick to the paper, to the window sheet. So another word, you need an alcohol marker. So in this case, me, it's the stamping blend. So that's what I'm going to use. But when I got that question, that remind me of the seal technique that I'm going to share this Thursday coming up. Picture or not just this at all on this. If you would see that, it really feel like the seal. And that's going to be a regular marker. So, it went up. So, I don't know if you notice, this is the side that I embossed. Now, we're going to flip it down. Now, I'm going to start with Daffodil Delight. And you want the color uh, vivid enough to shoot like in the light, you know, in the sunlight. I had shared some picture I took of the hummingbird with the sunlight in the back. Oh, my, my, is it pretty. 
Now I'm going to go in old olive and the old olive, um, I'm going to do uh, the leaves. And even if I'm using the blend, I am not blending nothing. I'm just adding color to um, the image. And the beauty of this, when you use black, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be careful. You know, you don't have to be in all the bits and pieces because you just smutter or whatever color the entire thing. And you're just going to see through wherever it is. So the black, it's very forgiving. So if you, you are challenged at coloring, coloring on window sheet, it is amazing. Okay. Now I'm going to use a pecan pie and this is the dark. And I'm going to do um, the stem. Oh, I see some leaf I didn't do. It's not much in the stem that we see, but we see a little bit of daylight in them, okay? Very little. Let me, uh, I just noticed I get uh, right here, I get the leaf. Okay, now I think I got them all. Now I'm going to use this one. I'm using Berry Burst and I'm going to use the Dark Berry Burst. Uh, usually I like to do my, um, my dog will get in more in a light pink. I decide to do this one in very dark because of I want the light to really bring that to life here. So it's very, like I said, it's very forgiving to color in the back of this because it's embossed, so it's going to be great. Now, um, you can do other color. You can do like white or whatever. I tried the gold with the leafing. It was not my favorite. Um, so I decided to stick with what I used to do, what I knew the best. So... Uh, this worked great here to color in the back and on the black. Et voila, see how quick this was to color? Because really I'm not blending, I'm just adding color. Now, you can see that how see through it is. Now you can always add color at the top to add a little bit more. This one, I don't need it at all, okay? So now I prepare our card base. I'm using the deco die. By the way, I put all the supplies below and it's a one click you can order right there. And I'm going to be honest with you. If you like what you see, if you want to keep seeing what I'm sharing, just a little order here and there going to keep me in business. If not, I won't stay in business, right? Okay. And this year it's Smoky Slate. It measures four and a quarter by 11, score at five and a half. Now, when it comes to dies at all time, instead of saying start from the big to the small, the small to the big, it gets so confusing. I said, I personally gonna do just like you're reading a book. So that is from the left to the right, to the left, left to the right when I count. So this year I'm using um, five, uh, six and seven. So I counted one, two, three, four, uh, one minute, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the one that I'm using. Okay. So anytime you're going to see me make a number for dies, like for framing and so on, that it's a nesting uh, set of dies, I start from the left to the right. So that way I think it would be easy. Now I did my little frame here. So first I thought to go directly on the gray and then I was like, mm, it's going to be too hard to cut my uh, window sheet and fit it just there. So I won't cut the window sheet for this one because it's a big flower. I just got, I use uh, this here. I put that, never mind the gray, the frame there. And I put the smallest of the frame to cut both. So if you get two layers, then I really recommend that you use the regular very vanilla, not the thick one, because it would be harder to cut two big layers, meaning because this is thicker than the regular vanilla. Then I went back and forth and I didn't win all the way, so I didn't make the mark. I just roll it, stop and roll it back. Okay. Now for the frame here, this, I put them together like this and then cut both of them at the same time and voila 
I don't know where my other piece is, but this is how I cut this out of the vanilla here. See, cut them both at the same time. Boom, you got it. I changed my mind, so I'm going to save that for another card. Okay, so now we're going to take our card and decide that it's embossed. That is the front, so we're going to put that right there. And what I'm going to do is use glue dots at, well, one minute, let me try something here. Okay, so this is the back, it's smooth. It's not the side that it's embossed, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead, put that right there. It go perfect, okay? That's what it's nice about the silicone mat. It is lovely. And then at the bottom, I will not go on the side. And the reason why I'm not going on the side, see how tight it is? But I'm going to do something else, though. I'm going to take my glue dots. So you know me, um, now um, on Create on the Fly, uh, they start saying every time I use glue dot, they have to take a drink. So on Thursday night, depending on what they drink, some of them can have a buzz and some of them uh, can uh, maybe not have a buzz, but they're going to have to go to the bathroom uh, quite often uh, after the life because I use a lot of glue dots. Look here. And the reason why I'm doing this, it's because on the side, I barely get a little bit there. There we go. And mm. something pop up here. Let me fix that. Okay, and one at the top. And if you see, it's kind of rough here. Can you see? It's because I put just a little bit of adhesive to keep my vanilla in place when I cut. Oops. Right here. Now, I get glue dots on my finger there. Let me put one more there because I want to make sure that my uh, window stick very good. So then it's not... Um, Okay, this is the embossed part. It's not uh, like bowing on the side there. So I'm going to come ahead and put this, oops, right here. Even if I cut a bit of my flower, I'm not worried about that. Okay, so here I know this is going to pass. So what I'm going to do here is just lift this up. I got too much on the side there. See, I'm going to cut this here because that don't matter. Because it's a very tight fit. See, I think that's going to be good. Okay, now we're going to glue this part. See the, that's when, you know, I had put a bit of glue because I didn't want it to move because I want it to be easy to match the frame. Now, right on this side, because it's so snug, I'm just going to add a little bit of tumble glue here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead, open this up, and then we're going to mount this at the top. I had some glue there. That's no biggie. Here we go. That finger glue. I had a glue on my finger for sure. Here we go. Okay, now you get your beautiful stained glass. Want to make sure it's no glue in the back. Okay, if you do have glue right here, you see I get glue. I'm going to show you what you can do for that. You're going to take any type of hand sanitizer and just put a little tiny bit. 
and that worked to on like a, a gold paper, silver paper. That's the best thing I find to remove. See, now I don't have no more glue. I'm glad that happened so then I could share that tip. Okay, this piece for the inside here measured four by ten and a half, score at four and a quarter, uh, at five and a quarter. Now we're going to put glue just on the back of this one. Put right there. Voila. Okay, now I got the stamp set uh, Go to Greeting. Of course, that is my to go stamp set. I just, I mean, seriously love that stamp set. If you can only afford one greeting stamp set, this is the one. And the reason why I say that, you get many different greeting, well, you get four or five different greeting. And the different size, because too many times you're making a card and you're like, oh, I should have used a bigger size or a smaller size and so on, and boom. Okay, so now this can look kind of plain. Let me add some jazz to this. Uh, we got this one right here. And I'm going to stamp that with a smoky slate to go with this. So I'm going to try to make it that it shoot through the window. See, I got some black there, the, the little bit I have. Let me see if that do the same thing than the glue, if I can remove that with hand sanitizer. I never tried this, okay? It's just something that I'm going to try right now. And it's magic. So you don't want to put on your flower, okay? See? It is magic. So when it comes to paper crafting, if you don't try something, you're never going to find out if it works or not. This would, this would have been easier if I would have done that before I glue it. But you know what? It didn't pay attention to me because I was not looking at the background there. Et voila, my friend. Oh, maybe a little bit more there. So if that happened, now you get a wig that you can remove that and another thing that would work even better one minute all about tips um i think i get some here i'm looking for um and i right now i don't know where they at what would work good for those little bits and pieces would be um oh right here maybe Yes, Q-tips, Q-tips to the rescue. Well, if I can open the darn thing. Okay, this must be very child-proof here, or Frenchie's proof. I don't know which proof it is, but it was a proof. Okay, so add a little bit of, um, of sanitizer, uh, and sanitizer, and this is, I don't know. I bet it came from the dollar store. Uh, one thing I think just the plain one would be perfect. The pure or whatever. Okay, just put that in. You don't want to lose one. And then you can go and just exactly where you want to remove those dots. Et voila. That worked wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, my friends. See? You got it. Okay. Now let's open this up and we're going to do uh, at the bottom here, I'm going to do the buds here. So yes, it will show. See? So then I'm going to put different length because I just don't like to have just one length of flowers. Let me do it this way so I don't go... So now you get all the bottoms. So when you open it up, and there, I'm gonna, I should explain why I did an insert like I did. So the reason why I did an insert instead of just like put that right on the vanilla, I could have done that. Well, you don't see the true like 
um, beauty of the stained glass. So this one, you can really see when you open it up. I mean, you can see it very lovely this way, but when you open it up, boom. Now, if you want to write, I would not write much here just because that it's going to show through the window. Now, inside, I just going to go ahead and stamp the big dogwood here on the corner here. Et voila. Just carry that over. So that's how I done the stained glass. Now, for um, my technique this month or whatever all month, I said I, got, I was going to do techniques. Last week, not this Thursday, but this Thursday before, create on the fly. This is on vellum and heavy uh, cardstock. It is gorgeous. This is a must see, okay? You have to see it in real life. It is gorgeous. Then next week, create on the fly. I'm going to share this lovely technique. It's, gosh, here we go, a little bit better. Uh, that is silk, faux silk, okay? And um, I did the hummingbird uh, last Thursday. That was the technique I did with, um, that's, um, Thoughtful expression. See how cool it is. So that is it. So again, this lovely stamp set here can be yours for free with a qualified order. The qualified order for this one, it's a hundred dollars. It's going to stand up. It's just don't have nothing to sit on. Here we go. See it stand up. And then when it stand up, the, those two part fluff a little bit. So going to even reinforce that so it's even better because you can see through see you barely see it because the way it is but it go this way so it's even better so um yeah so it's uh during celebration the dogwood stamp set that is this one here it's the qualify order for this one it's a hundred dollars you would get it for free so um that go till um mm -mm -mm, february 29 or while supplies last so that is it my friend i hope that you enjoyed this and um if you don't follow me on youtube i will put the link below and follow me on youtube every thursday night i am live called create on the fly usually i don't have no clue what i'm doing i just go and create well, this month I decided to do a uh, concentrate on technique and try to incorporate a celebration product in it. So that is it, my friend. Again, all the supplies is listed right below. If you want to support me, a little token of appreciation would be an order. Thank you so much. Till next time, happy stamping, my friend. Bye-bye for now.